Cat Williams loves commercial. Now in this video, Cat Williams is talking about different fast food restaurants and different people being in commercials. And I've injected different clips to go along with what he's saying to give context and a different perspective. And anytime you like my videos, please like and subscribe. Fast food used to be just a decision you make. Now they're getting aggressive and we gotta know when to draw the line. Taco Bell done started trying to trap niggas. go all around the country warning my people to beware. Taco Bell is trying to trap niggas. Yes, they made a taco out of chicken meat. There's a different way to chicken. The naked chicken chalupa, only at Taco Bell. We don't stop them now. They'll have chitlin chimichangas and hog mall nachos. No. You, 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 <laughs> you had one motherfucking job, Taco Bell. You, that's all you had. And one motherfucking job. And I knew when I turned that motherfucking drive through, I knew I would be a motherfucking hard head. Fast food done got more aggressive. You know who I blame for this That motherfucking Popeyes lady. Every time you hear her, she's singing that slave ass chicken song. Just What up, everybody? It's that time. We got roaches. I know, nigga. I'm telling everybody. Did you taste these bitches? No, but I did fry them bitches up for our new $5 box. Mix the cocaine with the dog food. Every time she do a commercial, it's got to be some coonery and sh She got Jerry Rice looking like Scatman Crothers with Vaseline on his face. With a helmet on, eating chicken wings and dancing. And 10, 20, 30 years, Popeyes! And right here, at Popeyes Chicken Fest, I want you to tell me what you're gonna do when Popeyes turn it up on you. How about those wings? Come on, take a trip to the chicken. The most aggressive is Arby's. Every 45 seconds, Arby's got three new sandwiches and a brand new commercial. They trying to gangster niggas into coming in there. Dun, 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 dun. You can't ask Arby's to pick a favorite $1 slider. That's like, like asking us to pick which one of our kids we want to eat. Arby's, we have the meat. Arby's is desperate. Arby's been cooking for 150 years. They just found out niggas do not eat roast beef. Oh, yeah, I got your Arby's delivery here. I didn't order Arby's. Oh, it says right here that you uh, ordered it yeah, about 20 minutes ago. Right? Let me see. All right, look, yeah. I, no, you ain't order Arby's, but look, hey, this is my first time seeing the customer, bro. I just want somebody to eat Arby's, but I'm good. Uh, McDonald's delivery here. I didn't order McDonald's. Oh, well, it's on us then. It's a point. Man, you the Arby's nigga, bro. You go to Arby's. Arby's got 500 items on the menu. I went to Arby's. They gave me a sandwich with meatloaf, corned beef, brisket, pool ham. Bourbon sauce. And brown sugar bacon. And Angus steak. And a top bun. This shit look nasty as fuck. Arby's. We have the... For a dollar twenty-nine, came with two bag of chips and three drinks. Please come to Arby's. Anyone hear that? No, it, it's like a beeping. Uh, shh, shh, look, 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 there, listen. It's faster now. What? They desperate. And I know. I talk a lot about race. If you tall and dark with a deep voice, they love your mother. That nigga's selling the shit out them all state commercials. We've learned that the best things in life don't cost much. And at all state, they don't cost much to protect. So protect them. Put them in good hands. That nigga's selling the shit out them ADT commercials. Being ranged right in the front camera. Don't you even think about coming in here. If I were you, I would turn around. In fact, if I were you, I'd turn around and go home. Because this can only end badly for you. Don't even try it. Samuel L. Jackson is still selling the shit out them Capital One commercials. 
You need the Quicksilver card from Capital One. With Quicksilver, you've always earned unlimited 1.5% cash back on every purchase everywhere. It doesn't get much simpler than that. He just sounds too edgy at the end, like he might, maybe, could rob you. Just, what's in your wallet? What's in your wallet? Well, God, Sam, what the f You still out there, nigga? Thanks for watching my video, and I'll see you in the next video.